because it's me, Danielle Danny Buttons. And I have a new manicure, which means it's time to do some new filming. Um, I actually realized I haven't done a coloring challenge in a long while now because I did that whole four part series on The Little Mermaid. So it's been a few weeks. So I'm definitely looking forward to getting back in here. If you are new to my coloring challenges, I have a bunch of little cards with a bunch of different challenges that I'm just gonna mix around. And then I close my eyes and pick one and we do whatever the challenge may be. So again, my eyes are open right now while I'm mixing. And then now they are closed and I'm gonna pick this one. Never before used book, cool. That should be fun. I definitely have a few of those. Let me clean up this stuff. So I have about 20 challenges overall. After I use the challenge, I put it somewhere else for now just so that we have variety. I don't know when I'll mix them back in. Um, I think I'm going to pick off screen. So be right back. Okay, that was actually harder than I was expecting. It turns out I have been doing an okay job at doing at least one page in each of my new books. So what I decided to do, I actually just got this book from Sun Life Drawing to review. They were very kind and sent me three review books. So I will be showing them in an upcoming haul really soon and I'm planning on doing at least two pages from each to do my Amazon review. So this is One Color Relaxation Art Animal Stencils. I have never done one of the One Color books before. And in fact, I don't think I'm going to do it One Color right now, but I just wanna try different ways. I cool, as luck would have it, I received a phone call right in the middle of my explanation. So anyway, I want to do this squirrel page. If you saw my scavenger hunt video, which I'll link right there, uh, Woodland Critter was one of the prompts. So I figure why not? It feels very fall to me to start doing some critters. And I'm actually, for this page, probably not gonna do one color because that won't be very interesting to watch. But I do intend to do one color in here. This, I think, is gonna be an especially good book for using up glitter pens. But as we should all know, if we saw my Mission gel pens, that right now I already used them all up, so they're all full. But yes, I'm going to be using my old set of Cali Arts. I actually bought a new set, but there are still a bunch of colors in here that do work, especially some of the colors that I plan to use right now. And I'll be using my color charts to find those colors. So that's that on that. I think I'm just going to pick out a few right away to be prepared. So I'm probably going to do... I don't want to do too many colors because that's kind of against the point. I can't really tell what's in his hand. I think I'm going to do him all in one color. And I think I'm going to do him in potato brown, which from what I gather is a crowd favorite when it comes to Cali Arts. Let's see if I can find that. Should we just do one color at a time? Yeah, I'm going to just start with this one and see where we go. So... I have no idea, I haven't colored in these books with this before, so I don't know how much bleeding we're gonna get, but we're just gonna try to be careful. I think you could probably also color between the lines in this book if you wanted, like in the Color Questopia books or even in Sun Life's other mosaic books, but I don't think I'll need to. It seems like there are pretty nice thick lines. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. One, that I have been getting review books. I feel very fancy. And two, that I picked this one because I wanted to try something I hadn't tried before. And I think that's really cool. So they sent me this book and they sent me the Summer Silhouettes and they sent me the, at the time, their newest book, which was The 100 Patterns, which I almost thought about doing that in the video, but I think that that's actually might be a little bit too simple for a color in chat, especially the way I intend to do that. What I'm excited for that one for is I really think that'll be a good place to experiment on different techniques because there's so many chances and they're not the most difficult pictures. Also, I'm getting some Instagram messages, but I don't think you can hear, but I'm sad because I'm not gonna be able to answer right now. So, Jenny, this is why I didn't answer you. I'm sorry. Um, yes. Oh, now it's gonna even say that I saw it. Anyway, so 
I'm just gonna color all of him in this color and see where we get to. One color just seems so relaxing. Like this seems like it'll be the easiest thing to do while you're doing something else, which is another awesome reason to try it. I'm always looking for things that like are easy to travel with. Not that I go places, but even like going to waiting rooms and things like that. I just like having a coloring book on me at all times. And this seems like a good one. Cause I think a lot of people are always like, oh, this book is small, so it's easy to travel. But then I don't understand what supplies they bring. So for a book like this, you could literally bring this and like three markers and that's enough for three pages. And that would last me a long time. So that's my thought process. I also am happy to be doing this. I think that's one of the things I love most about the challenges is that I do things I normally wouldn't because I almost definitely would not have picked a squirrel as my first choice. But I feel like we're getting into fall. It reminds me of the scavenger hunt. We're branching out. And I really like that I'm trying something different. I'm also happy with myself so far because usually I get impatient and, gen and then just use the chisel side and I just go over all the lines and I make a mess. So luckily this is going real nice. I also am not the kind, like if I do go out of the lines a little bit, it doesn't bother me too much. So like there's some tiny mistakes that I'm not even sure if you can see from all the way up there, but that doesn't bother me. So I figured I would talk about the finish, uh, the books I finished reading in August and my plans for September because I've had people say they like that before and I actually did not finish very much so it won't be that long of a talk but I know in September I will definitely be reading more. If you saw my wrap up, which I'll link that too, but you probably saw that, I finished 76 pages in August Technically, today is August 31st, so this is page 77 for the month of August, and that is an absurd number. I don't know what I was thinking there. That's too much. I basically, any free time I had was spent coloring, which, of course, like, I was enjoying it. That's why I did it, but it was a lot. So this month, I don't think I will get that many pages done, and in part because I'm very intentionally going to do other things like reading and hopefully walking more now that the weather isn't too hot. So today it's already down to 72. I think it's just because it's so cloudy out, but that's very different from what we've been experiencing the past month. So in August, I ended up reading three books I think all of them were audiobooks. It was a bad month for physical reading. And I continued in two series, which I had talked about the month before too. I did the next number. I don't know what number I'm on in either series because the numbers aren't really important. But I did the next book in the Hannah Swenson Cozy Mystery series, which this one was called Rabs Raspberry Danish Murder. Let me confirm that. Yep, Raspberry Danish Murder. Some of them, the farther into this series that you're getting, the more focused on the characters it becomes, which I definitely appreciate. Like I've spent 20 books with them now. I don't mind that we're getting more of the characters, but I feel like this plot was pretty outlandish and things are getting crazier because they have to figure out who to kill off next. And it's crazy that like, Basically everyone in the town is a suspect and either will be murdered at some point or will murder someone at some point. So that's interesting. And now I think she does, she more intentionally sets up future books. So like at the end of this one, it's almost a cliffhanger. And you're like, all right, I see where you're going. I can tell this is gonna be the next book, but I don't mind that. Those are just a nice easy listen. And again, I really don't want to tell you too much because it's like book 20 in a series. So if you're into cozy mysteries, I do recommend them. They are fun. And the little shtick with them is that they have recipes 
interwoven into the story. So the main character, Hannah Swenson, is actually a cookie baker. She owns a bakery. So every few chapters will have a recipe. The farther into the series they go, the more regular food recipes too, besides just desserts, because I guess she was kind of running out of ideas a little bit. So there'll be a bunch of recipes in there and I really do want to try one one time because it, she makes some fun stuff. So I'm excited for that. I also then finished or com continued in another series my Hercule Poirot read by Agatha Christie, which I'm sure lots of you know. I'm a big Agatha Christie fan now. I think I'm on number like 18 out of the Poirot books, something like that. But we read Hercules Christmas is what this one was called. I think it had a different title initially or might still have a di different title in the UK. I don't know. But here and now the version I read was called Hercules Christmas. And I was kind of sad because I kind of wanted to read it at Christmas time, but I didn't want to skip around. I think you can. Almost all of them can be read in any order. Um, there's actually, if you go to like agathachristie.com, they have a list and there's like recommendations on what order to read them in. And every once in a while, a book will reference something else, but it's usually just like, oh, remember when Poirot solved this case? So it doesn't like, really give anything away but I really like this one I thought it was pretty surprising I saw that it had some bad reviews and I was surprised because this was like one of the trickier ones and a lot of it like feels I don't know how to put it but overdone like the way her reveals are but you have to remember that she like invented these <laughs> she was like the first I think I'm up to these books were written in the 40s, I think. Might still be in the 30s. But she started writing Poirot in like 1921 or something. So that's pretty cool. But this one was about like a family at Christmas. And in the beginning, you can tell a bunch of people want revenge on the like patriarch of the family. And then he does end up dying. And... We kind of have to figure out who did it. So I don't think that's a spoiler. You can tell right from the very beginning that he's going to die. So. And of course Poirot figures it out. So. What's interesting about the series is that a lot of times. Not a lot of times. But sometimes Poirot won't even make his appearance until in the middle of the book. So I can't tell if this is going to be an exciting video for anyone to watch because I'm just coloring in one color. I have a strong feeling that we're going to be speeding this up in a minute because even though this is really calming for me, again, I'm not sure if it's enjoyable for you guys. <clears throat> Oh, another video I really am gonna do, and I think it's gonna do terrible and no one's gonna watch and it's gonna freak people out and that's fine. I really, really want to do an ASMR coloring video. I don't know why it's taken me this long, but I've like actually gotten into ASMR a little bit now. Mostly just like everyday sounds. I don't know, I've been watching One Lady Make Cookies a lot. If you don't know what ASMR is, I don't remember what it stands for, but basically it's like finding sounds that are pleasing. So there are ASMR videos that will be people tapping on things or just whispers are a big one. I would not be whispering, but I love the sound of the marker on the paper. And I just think that would make a fun ASMR video. And then I love like that sound and like rustling through the pens. So that is my idea to do for one video. I just want to see what it would be like. Like I want to make it for myself so I can just watch it myself. <laughs> the 
The final book I read in the month of August was called The Lion Game by Ruth Ware. Now I've read all five of Ruth Ware's books that are currently published, and I actually just ordered the sixth one, and she's okay. So she is like a thriller writer, and her books have been hit or miss. I think she truthfully kind of has been getting better with every single book. So this, The Lion Game, was the third book she wrote, and I think I rank it third out of the five. So not too bad, but basically it was about, it was confusing, I don't know. I just enjoy it while it's happening. But it's about like this group of girls that met in boarding school that would play something called The Lion Game, which was they would intentionally lie and try to get, and like count points for it. So just any situation they were in, they would be lying. And then now they're older and some of the lies are catching up to them, I would say. And I don't wanna, it's a, a thriller, so I can't really tell you much again, which that's another hard thing about talking about all the books I read, most of them, I don't wanna spoil. But I enjoyed it. I thought there were a few suspenseful scenes. I find that with at least half the thrillers I read, the main character is really annoying. And that was kind of similar with this one. For, so for this one, she actually had a small daughter. I think the daughter was like 10 months old or something. I think. I want to say she was 10 months old. And that's really unique in thrillers. But it was frustrating because the daughter was a big plot stopper, I guess. So, like, she would have to tout her daughter around. And it was just crazy because she was bringing her daughter to very, very dangerous situations. Like, my goodness. The, the ending scene was very dangerous. And I felt awkward having her daughter be there. So that was a, a unique plot point to have her there. But I still liked it. I think they're enjoyable. I've heard a lot of people complain about thrillers in general or like complain about books and then we'll use this for thrillers. But they'll be like, it wasn't relatable. Like, I don't think it was realistic enough or something like that. I'm like, what? This is a murder mystery. I don't want to relate to any of these characters, please. I think it's a success if I am not relating to them. So that's always a weird complaint to me that I don't need to relate to my characters. I'm assuming it's different in like other genres of books that you might want to relate to the characters more, but no, no thank you. I don't want to be running from killers. So now for fall or September, I'm hoping to read more, like I said. I, of course, will probably continue in both of my series on audio. But I'm also hoping to read physically more. And I probably will just continue to read a bunch of thriller mysteries because I think that's part of my slump for physical reading is that I, I'm trying to read not thrillers, but thrillers are my favorite. So I'm just gonna embrace it and see what happens. And I also have to let myself, like if I'm not enjoying a book, to just switch. Because it's not like I'm throwing the books away. I can go back to them later. But if it's not working for me, I just gotta switch to something that hopefully will work for me. I think I get stuck um, in the idea that, oh no, like I just bought this book. If I don't read it, I'm, it was a waste. But the amount of books I have, it's more of a five-year plan than a like monthly TBR situation. So it's okay. It's better to read three old books than zero books at all, I think. So my goal going forward is to do that. I want to read from Sherry Lapina. Stranger in the House I'm trying to read next. I think she has one other book currently out. I think I own two books by her. I read two, I own two more, and then another one is coming out in a month or two is what I think's going on. 
So I really like her thriller writing too. There was a bunch of thriller writers that came out like five years ago that I've been enjoying a lot of their work. And they're all coming out with new stuff. So I gotta keep up with that. And then I also really do want to read more of my book of the month books because I got a little bit behind and now I have like five or six of them that I haven't read. And obviously I want that subscription to be relevant and worth it. So I'll be reading those. And I talked about this in my last video, I think, but I'll talk about it again because we have time. But Book of the Month is basically a subscription service where every month they give you five choices of books and you pick one and they send it to you. <clears throat> and it's always really popular new books. And if you don't like it, you can just skip. But if you do like it, you could add two extras on and they also have a lot of new books that you could add on for extras. And it's a really good deal because it's $15 for your first book a month and then $10 for each extra one and they're all hardcover. <clears throat> I have to take a sip of water again. One second. I really don't understand how people talk for so long. So let me pick my next color and then we'll get back to chatting. Hold on. I think I'm just gonna do a darker brown Preferably an underused brown. I'm gonna do bitter chocolate. It's gonna be super dark. Why 976? Let's see if I can find it. Yes, so I'm gonna do this for our branch. But yeah, you end up getting the books for like really cheap. They're really nice quality. They all have book of the month on them, like on the cover, but in a nice way. And I really recommend that service. And it also, for me personally, helps me with my book ban because I know that I'm gonna get at least one fancy new book and then I can like curb everything else. So I link that down below too. I'm pretty sure if you like sign up through my link, you can get either uh, your first book for $10 or some months it'll be your first book free. It all just depends on what the current deal is with that but I'll link that down below if you want to check it out or obviously you can just go straight to bookofthemonth.com and check it out through them but I'm really excited for my upcoming books I talked about this in my last video so I apologize if you saw that one but I'm getting the new Ruth Ware book one by one which I think is going to be like a now I can't remember what the name of them are but it's like when everyone is stuck in the same place and somebody gets killed so I think they're all like trapped in a ski resort or something there's like uh, snow on the cover so they're definitely trapped somewhere and then I also got Anxious People by Frederick Bachman and I've never read anything by him I do own a few like I know A Man Called Ove is really popular and I own I want to say Beartown which is, I heard, really heavy hitting. But Anxious People, I think they're also trapped in Anxious People, so that's interesting. My choice is there. But it's really cool because both of those books don't even come out until September 8th, and then I should have them before that. So I'm excited for that. But otherwise, I've been doing pretty good with not buying books besides that one slip-up. So... The book I'm most looking forward to is actually coming out in October. It is called Hollow Pox. It is the third book in a middle grade series. I don't tend to read too much middle grade, but this was touted as like the new Harry Potter. And I honestly do agree a little bit. Nothing for me has yet been as magical as Harry Potter, but this is a really good book. I think it's really well done. And it's about a little girl who is, she knows she's a cursed child, which means like all cursed children are set to die on, I want to say their 12th birthday. And then she find out, finds out she might die on her 11th birthday instead. But the day she thinks she's going to die, she ends up getting swept away to this alternate reality. And so the first book is about her like discovering this reality 
and trying to get into this fancy school. And then the second book, she's in the school. And it's about like her first year at the school. And then we're not, I'm not sure what the third book's gonna be yet, but I'm excited. So. That comes out October 27th. It was originally supposed to come out in like January, then it was pushed to August, and now it's pushed to October. So I am very much hoping it does not get pushed again because I really want to read it. Also, I didn't tell you what the first ones were called. The first one I think was Nevermore. And the second one was Wondersmith. So now this third one is Hollowpox. I think they said there's gonna be like 10 more books in the series too, which is interesting. I heard rumors that it might not all be about the same character. So I will see that as we get through it. But where are we time-wise? We're about 24 minutes. So I think I'm going to finish off this branch and then I will get into fast forward mode. I hope people do not mind that, but I just think that you can already probably tell my voice is going on me. So I just think it will be easier if I just zap it fast forward and go from there. And I've said this before, but I absolutely love watching coloring in fast forward, so. Time lapse, I guess, is what we really call it, not fast forward. This is not a VHS tape. I think I'm going to color all the leaves the same color, and then I'll have to see about these flowers. But I'm really liking this. Again, it's super easy. This is really actually great for me for the color and chat because I don't have to think about what I'm coloring. But again, I'm worried that it is boring for you, the viewer. I'm really getting all over the place with this marker too, but that's all right. So yeah, I wanted to use colors that I haven't used up. And this brun, no, this isn't brun. This is bitter chocolate, I said. It has definitely not been used because it looks very near black. I'm surprised it's not lightening up at all. But that's okay. It works fine for here, except it shows all those tiny mistakes a little bit extra, but that's okay. Also, I'm realizing like, are some of these things bugs? That's obviously supposed to be a butterfly, unfortunately, but is that also a bug? Are these bugs? I don't know. I guess if I did do it one color, we wouldn't have to worry about that. So, my bad, but. I think that it makes it easier to see a little bit with doing multiple colors. I might just do the leaves in orange and then just keep doing everything else in this bitter chocolate. Because I don't wanna be getting too crazy with too many colors. Defeats the purpose a little bit. I think that is what I will do. So I'm gonna even do the flowers and the butterfly all in this brown. But I'm going to switch to that orange first. That is my plan. But yes, please tell me what you're reading if you're a reader or what you wish you were reading. If you were wish you were a reader. Like, are you anticipating any new releases? A bunch of stuff that I've been waiting for all year is starting to come out. But again, hopefully I'll be strong for the most part and not buy anything else because I have so much to read. I think if I like have a really good reading month, I won't feel as bad if I buy something, but I had a really bad reading month, so I gotta keep it cool. Yes, voila. I am gonna go into two times speed and, or four times speed, whatever, time-lapse speed, and then I will come back at the end and review what I did, so zoop.
ended up being a lot crazier than I was expecting. I have been getting a bunch of messages interrupting me, got a phone call, my dad came home, Noodles freaked out, Noodles stole stuff from the recycle bin. She's been stealing things from like the garbage and recycling and she's never done that before. And I'm like, girl, you're five. Why are you going through this phase? But anyway, we are finished with this page. I really, really like it. Like I said, this is my first ever one color page. So I didn't really know what to expect necessarily, but I think it looks really good. I really like that we only stuck to the three colors. I think more would have been pushing it a little bit. Um, I probably would have been fine with just the two, but I do like the three. So I hope you enjoyed this too. That was for my challenge, never before used books. So if you liked this video and liked my challenges and wanna see more from me, please comment and subscribe and bell notification and all that fun stuff. Stick around, I'm a fun time, I think of my new sign off. But if you made it all the way to the end, stay acorn, please. And that will let me know that you're a real one and you made it all the way back here with me. And I might be attempting to put music over the sped up part for the first time ever. So hopefully that worked or otherwise I apologize maybe next time. And if it did work, I hope it doesn't blast you away because sometimes the music's really loud. We will see what happens. But thank you so much for watching and sticking around with me. And I will be back in two days with a new video. Bye.